Picture this, you're choosing an AI assistant for 2025. ChatGPT5 offers PhD level reasoning, but uses your data for training. Claude protects your privacy with massive context windows, but costs more for heavy usage. Grok gives you real-time internet access, but requires expensive Twitter premium. Gemini integrates with everything Google, but has complex privacy settings. That's just the beginning of what I discovered in my comprehensive testing. And what I found about which AI actually delivers the best value will change how you think about AI assistance. Welcome back to bitbias.ai where we do the research so you don't have to. Since ChatGPT5 dropped, I've been conducting intensive comparisons across all four major AI assistants, and the results revealed clear winners in categories that might surprise you. I'm going to break down exactly what you get for your money with ChatGPT5, Grok4, Claude, and Gemini in 2025. We'll look beyond the marketing promises and examine real-world performance, pricing value, and which assistant actually delivers on its claims. By the end, you'll know exactly where your subscription dollars should go. Before we dive in, hit subscribe because the AI landscape is evolving weekly, and the capabilities launching this year alone will reshape everything we know about AI assistants. The reasoning power revolution. Let me start with something that fundamentally changes the AI game. ChatGPT5's new reasoning mode doesn't just give you answers. It shows you the complete PhD-level thought process, step by step. When I tested complex mathematical problems, it broke down each component like a genius tutor explaining their work. But here's where it gets interesting. Claude's 200,000 token context isn't just about size. It's about perfect coherence across massive documents. I uploaded a 150-page research paper and Claude referenced details from page 10 when answering questions about page 140. This isn't pattern matching. This is understanding context at a scale that changes how you work. Grok takes a completely different approach with real-time internet integration. While others rely on static training data, Grok actively searches current information and synthesizes insights that simply don't exist in historical data. When I asked about market trends, it pulled data from minutes ago. Gemini's 1 million token flash model processes multiple textbooks while generating images, audio, and video in the same conversation. It's like having an entire creative team with unlimited memory. The multimodal integration feels like magic when you experience it firsthand. Wait until you see what this means for practical applications and which system actually delivers better value. The privacy and integration reality. This discovery was crucial for most users. Claude absolutely dominates privacy with their crystal clear policy. We will not use your conversations to train our models unless you explicitly opt in. This isn't marketing speak. It's their default setting. ChatGPT's situation is more complex. OpenAI does use conversations for improvement by default, but they provide controls to opt out. The catch? Most people don't know these settings exist, and you have to actively disable data usage. Grok follows Elon's philosophy of transparency. They're upfront about using your data to improve the service. Since it's tied to X slash Twitter, conversations help train future versions unless you're an API user with opt-out options. Gemini offers Google's classic approach. Powerful privacy controls exist, but you need to find them in activity settings. Enterprise users get complete protection, but consumer accounts require manual configuration. For integrations, Gemini destroys this category through Google ecosystem integration, Search, Gmail, Docs, Sheets, Android, Photos, and YouTube. If you use Google products, it feels seamless rather than like a separate tool. ChatGPT leverages Microsoft partnerships with Office 365 Copilot integration, plus extensive plugin ecosystem connecting thousands of apps. Claude focuses on professional workflows with Slack and Notion partnerships. Grok owns social media integration through X slash Twitter and real-time web access. If you're finding this breakdown helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. It directly supports our ability to dive deep into AI comparisons in this rapidly evolving landscape. The pricing and value truth. Here's the honest pricing breakdown that matters for your decision. ChatGPT offers the most accessible entry with a free tier including limited GPT-5 access, plus at $20 per month for most users, and Pro at $200 per month for unlimited usage. Gemini provides exceptional value with a powerful free tier and advanced at $19.99 per month, including 2 terabytes storage plus Google integration. 
you're essentially getting premium AI plus workspace upgrades for the same price as ChatGPT+. Claude starts free with generous limits, pro at $20 a month, and max tiers at $100 to $200 a month for heavy usage. The no training policy justifies costs for privacy conscious users, but you pay premium for that peace of mind. Grok requires X Premium Plus at $32 per month if filled annually, plus Super Grok Heavy at $300 per month for multi-agent capabilities. You're paying premium for real-time access and unfiltered communication, but that's a significant cost jump. The user experience varies dramatically. ChatGPT excels at natural conversation flow with memory features. Gemini shines in multimodal versatility and Google integration. Claude provides thoughtful, comprehensive responses perfect for analysis. Grok offers personality with real-time immediacy that becomes addictive once experienced. The speed and capability trade-offs. Yes, ChatGPT responds faster on simple queries, but the others trade speed for different advantages. Grok considers multiple angles and checks current data. Claude maintains perfect context through complex research projects with that massive context window. Gemini seamlessly integrates multiple media types in single conversations. The philosophical differences matter more than speed. ChatGPT optimizes for broad appeal and safety. Claude prioritizes depth and privacy. Grok emphasizes real-time authenticity. Gemini focuses on ecosystem integration and multimodal capabilities. For content creation, ChatGPT currently has more polished multimedia tools with DALLE integration and voice features. But Gemini's native image and video generation capabilities are rapidly advancing, and Grok's roadmap shows significant multimodal improvements coming. The verdict. After intensive testing across all categories, these aren't really competing products. They serve different philosophies and use cases. ChatGPT5 excels as the reliable generalist with cutting-edge reasoning, making it the safe choice for most users seeking advanced AI capabilities. But the value champion might be Gemini Advanced. Same price as ChatGPT+, but with AI integration across your entire Google ecosystem, plus storage and multimodal capabilities that feel revolutionary. Claude operates in a different category for users needing privacy-first AI with massive context capabilities. The no-training policy and coherent long-form analysis create genuine advantages for sensitive work. Grok represents the future of real-time AI with authentic communication and live internet integration. The premium pricing reflects cutting-edge capabilities that don't exist elsewhere, but you're betting on XAI's aggressive development roadmap. The choice depends on your priorities. ChatGPT for reliability and reasoning, Gemini for integration and value, Claude for privacy and depth. Grok for real-time capabilities and authentic dialogue. The AI landscape is evolving rapidly, and what we're seeing represents significant advances in reasoning, real-time access, and multimodal integration. If this comparison helped you understand the key differences, let me know in the comments which aspects you found most valuable. Don't forget to subscribe to our weekly newsletter at bitbiased.ai to stay current with AI developments. We'll continue covering major releases and updates in this fast-moving space. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.